Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today we have a lot more upgrades than yesterday and we're going to try a little bit of a different formatting because there's just too much stuff to try to cover with just some basic screenshots for all the trades. So let's go ahead and start like this. In the background we're going to have some gameplay of the character from yesterday. I believe we're on what day three or day four of an update. I'll have it in the title. Um, so yeah we're going to start like this. So yesterday we did a lot of crafting so I'll go step by step and explain the process. So Obviously, if you guys have been watching, you'll notice that I get the majority of my money from Blight. So we have been running Blight along with Beyond. Um, the Blight Beyond combo has been getting me some pretty good currency. The Beyond currency is not too crazy right now, aside from the Divine Teardrop. Is that what it's called? We got really lucky yesterday, whatever it's called. That sold for like six Divines. We've gotten a couple Golden Oils from Blight, though, and that's pretty good, too. Anyway, though, uh, moving on here. So we crafted a pair of gloves from scratch. So to give an example of these gloves here. We, um, if you look at the little uh, notepad here, we started with an 18% life fracture, right? So there is the life fracture. We then went ahead and bought 16 Deafening Essence of Envy, and we spammed to get ourselves the High Chaos Res roll. I actually always have the High Chaos Res roll. We ended up hitting the T1 life, and then I stopped there, and then threw down an Exalt. I believe the Exalt hits either the Dexterity or the Armor is one or the other. Either way, it was still good. Then we use the 24 embers to get our ignite prolif. I didn't actually buy those, so I don't have a price. That's just that's just literally like what I had in my stash from this character. And then the damage per strength is the same thing. Now, going on to the ring, uh, we have a new ring located right here. Um, this ring we bought with a fracture for 45 chaos. It was the 47 dex fracture. We used 500 yellow life force for reforge chaos. I actually ended up hitting T1 Chaos with a T2 Life Roll, and we just crafted increased damage, and we're good to go. Um, I've got a nice medium cluster on, because I'm getting ready for the Hateful Accuser swap. So that would be this one right here. You can see it gives us uh, Asserting Dominance and Towering Threat. This is the combo I used in SSF, so the Ink AoE if you've killed 5 enemies and the Max Life. For people who are going to ask, this is not better than the traditional RF build where we go Flow of Life. This is setting up for Hateful Accuser, which is like literally a different version. So don't get those confused. There's nothing wrong with staying with the standard burning damage jewels. Um, so over here, I spammed Purple Life Force for Reforged Life, and I ended up getting lucky, and I actually exalted the... Um, I exalted the Assert Dominance. For people who don't know, when you have a jewel that has notables at item level 68, like this one, so the notables would be Towering Threat and Assert Dominance, the closer to item level 68 it is, Meaning, if it's literally 68, you have the best odds of hitting it. Anytime you go above it, so 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, you're adding extra maybe all attributes, life rolls, resistance rolls, etc. So these are often, when you're rolling notables, easier at lower level. So the uh, I think the base was literally 5 chaos, so I forgot to put it on here. I bought the bases like two days ago, so that's this one. Next up, we actually have a new belt that replaced our Immortal Flesh. Very lucky on this. So, T3 life, T1% life, T5 flat life uh, regen, which kind of sucks. But then it has a good life recovery, and I can craft Chaos Res. And I get an Abyssal Jewel. So, this belt, we bought a the we bought the cheapest influence base, which was Redeemer for one Divine. We then used 4,000 blue life force, which was a total of 60 Chaos to reforge influence. So, we hit Elder on our fourth one. We then bought 40 of the first tier Resonator. And then 45 or 40 uh, pristine fossils, which is 45C. And this is to spam just literally life. So that's using the fossil called pristine fossil for more life mods. And we ended up with this bad boy. Got pretty lucky. It actually needs to be divine because the life roll is literally minimum at 100. The max life is minimum at 8. And then the life recovery is in between. So definitely could be divined. Uh, and I think we would just get lucky. As for the Abyss Jewel, um, never actually crafted Abyss Jewel, so this character actually taught me how to do it. It was pretty nice. So I started with a Life Fracture because I thought to myself, oh, life would be easy. No, no, no. So I wasted like 30 Chaos. I didn't put it on here, but I bought a Life Fractured Abyss Jewel. Let me actually see if I still have it because I think it's cool to talk about the, the failures here, right? Ah, yeah. So I tried this bad boy, and we spent so much Chaos trying to get... Uh, damage over time while holding a shield because if you look at damage over time while holding a shield the tag is damage unfortunately there's not much you can do with the tag of damage but when you do it the other way around so for example when you buy this fracture which was only 
um, 12C for a 16%. I don't know why I put fire. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. 10C. Then I just use Reforge Life with Purple Life Force, and we hit T1 Life, and then it rolled Dexterity, and I'll take it. Because that's a damage node and a life node at the same time in this Stygian Vice. So this is giving me quite a bit less regen than Immortal Flesh, but it's giving me damage and more life, and that's why I'm using it. Uh, I bought myself Annihilation Approach for 79 Chaos. Unfortunately, I think it's a little too early for me to be running them, so we're probably going to drop them. My life regen is absolute dog shit, so uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to replace Annihilation until later, um, but we, we have it for now. Okay, ended up getting a banger jewel, so I'm sure you guys remember in the last video we were buying fire damage jewel fractures. So as I went Annihilation, you guys know what I like to do with the tree, I take Unwavering Stance and I swap my Pantheon, but by doing this I open up a two point jewel. I finally got my first fucking jewel with fire multi, sorry for the swearing, it's just I've been trying so hard to get multi jewels and it's so hard because I'm not allowed to buy them. So this jewel here... We ended up doing only 500 purple life force on reforge life i have used like maybe seven to ten thousand life force already across all the other jewels but you can see none of them have multi right so this has just life increase this one over here has life and increase this one over here has yet again life and increase and then this one is special because it has the max fire res so that's okay that it doesn't have an increase right, or a multi so you always want to aim for multi on your jewels because your entire tree, here's an easy way to look at it. I always tell people type in increase on the tree. Do you see what highlights? Okay. Now type in multi on the tree. Do you see what highlights? It's pretty much like half of the, half of the things that are highlighting are just masteries. They're not even really like, they're not even really like multi nodes, right? So, Okay. Anyway, so we spammed Purple Life Force for Reforge Life, and then we exalted, I believe, the uh, Strength and Dex, which is not bad. It's never bad to have extra dexterity on the character. Other than that, we're nearing the end. We've got Awakened Burning Damage times two. I'll be honest, I don't know why I bought two of them. It's kind of like that thing where you message like 10 people for an item, and then two people message you back at the same time. So now I just have a random Awakened Burning Damage, and I'm not allowed to sell it because we're not allowed to like sell gear outside of T17 maps which is not even really gear. So this is just going to sit here in the uh, stash tab of failure. Also, you guys can see me kind of suffer because I don't have all the tabs. So my dumbass is collecting like every single div card because it's it's just force of habit because I haven't turned them off of the loot filter yet. <laughs> so this is something we're going to have to clean up. And the last thing, we got two times Awakened Swift Affliction for 110 Chaos. So you can see uh, we have an Awakened Swift Affliction here and here. One of the big things I'll need to do is liquidate some currency into um gcp so that we can quality all of our gems or i could choose the run lab but that's i don't know it's kind of like a waste of time i will need to grab an awakened le focus and stick it right here on the character and that's pretty much about it um yeah other than that you can see here i'm buying some one chaos not even one chaos i'm buying really cheap scarabs because any form of density with your scarabs is like really good because you're just if you're able to put mobs in the map for, you know, half a chaos or not even half a chaos, it's always, always, always worth it. Anyway, that is pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll let you know where we're going to go from today. Um, for sure, one of the big things is I want to craft a new weapon because I'm stuck on the minion damage weapon right now. And most weapons require multi-mod and multi-mod requires putrid cloister. Thankfully, yesterday from a blight... We actually dropped a Putrid Cloister map, which means we now have multi-mod. And the reason this is so big is because I want to ditch this part of the tree right here, and I cannot no matter what I do. So instead of ditching this part, I have opted to ditch this part, which I don't like because multi. Multi, multi, and multi. So this is really what I want. So now we'll be able to craft a new weapon, and we can ditch this, and we'll be good to go. The other thing about the Annihilation is, uh, so right now I'm 89 max res, and the primary reason is I don't have a 23 purity of fire. A 23 purity will hopefully help a lot here, because, so this is 20 right now, if I stick it here it would be 21, if I vaulted it and got a 21 then it would be 22, and if I craft a new weapon with plus one gem it will be 23. The 23 nets me a breakpoint on the max res at 90, and furthermore I can remove uh, this little baby node here, and I won't need it because of just the way Purity of Fire works. 
anyway that's pretty much about it i hope you guys are enjoying the build updates they're going to be coming uh pretty i guess maybe it'll slow down a little once we're at a point where we can't really progress as fast definitely want to recombinate myself an amulet since our amulet has no multi and then eventually we'll probably recombinate a scepter or i'll just try recombinating now and then multi-modding the scepter after anyway though like i said that's pretty much about it Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, feel free to hit that follow button, and I will catch you guys on the live stream at twitch.tv slash Take care. Have a wonderful time, everyone, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.